The market conditions for Bitcoin are changing right now in front of our eyes. We're seeing new inflows coming into Bitcoin from long-term investors. Meanwhile, lower time frame traders are taking profits and actually shorting Bitcoin at this current price. This is known as a two time frame market. And do you know what happens in a two time frame market? We see very, very aggressive short squeezes to the upside. And if enough aggressive buyers can come in and drive the price of Bitcoin up to $70,000, there's going to be $16 billion worth of short liquidations, which will very likely squeeze the price of Bitcoin up to $72,000. And at $72,000, there's going to be another 16 billion worth of short liquidations. So you can see how very quickly Bitcoin could break off to a new all time high price, literally in one day. So in this video, we'll break down the technical analysis for Bitcoin. We'll look at those short liquidations, which are to come. And in addition to that, I want to show you a reason why I think new long term buyers are coming into crypto from the traditional stock market. If this is your first time watching the Trading Drip YouTube channel and you like trading cryptocurrencies, then my friend, smash up that subscribe button. I think you're going to enjoy the content on this channel. If we look at the current trading environment for Bitcoin, we can see price action is clearly breaking out of this time tested regression trend channel as this was a major resistance level for a long time. And price action has pushed right up to value area high of this volume profile here on the side. So we can expect there to be some resistance at this level, which is why we're starting to see more short positions are opening up here. However, this movement up here in price was actually fueled partly by a short squeeze, which is what we can see in the order flow. So here in the order flow, as price action has been moving up, we can see that new long positions have been opening up because open interest has been curving up and cumulative volume delta is pushing to the upside. So the net volume in the market is to the long side. However, if we look at this candle right here, this explosive candle to the upside, that was fueled by a short squeeze because we can see a bunch of shorts got liquidated here. And then as price broke above this high here, this candle here was also fueled by another short squeeze. And over the last four days, we have seen generally more short positions are being liquidated than long positions. So in this video, I'm going to outline several reasons why I think we're going to see a little bit of a bear trap. Short positions are actually going to start opening up here. However, they will be absorbed by longer term buyers coming into the market, which ultimately will give us the fuel to push up to a completely new all time high price. So let's think about the short sellers. Why would you want to short sell Bitcoin at this current price? Well, firstly, price action has come up to value area high. And previously, this value area high has been a very strong resistance level for Bitcoin. So based on statistics and probability, it actually makes sense to open up some sort of a head short position here on Bitcoin. That being said, how much leverage are you going to use on that position and where will your liquidation price be? And when we look at the one day liquidation map, we can see a lot of these 100x leverage short positions. They will actually get liquidated as price moves past $70,000. And then we can see a lot of 50x leverage positions will get liquidated just under $71,000. And then a lot of these 25x leverage to 10x leverage short positions will get liquidated as price action passes around $72,000. And as I said at the start of the video, as price action passes $72,000, we're going to to see a lot of short liquidations. Look here at this liquidation heat map. As price action comes to around seventy thousand and a half thousand dollars, there's going to be almost sixteen billion in short liquidations. And then as price moves a little bit higher to around the price point of seventy two to seventy three thousand dollars, there's going to be another sixteen billion in short liquidations. So this can lead to a very quick, violent short squeeze, taking price potentially up to a new all time high price. So we can see why short positions may want to open up here. We are at an extreme of fair value. We can also see that we're starting to see a bearish divergence on the high Kanishi candles. And if we look at the normal candles, we can already see that there is a bearish divergence on the daily time frame. This is where momentum is coming down over time as price action is doing the opposite. So you can expect some sort of a trend reversal based purely on technical analysis. If we also look at the lower time frames, like the four hour time frame. Again, here you can see momentum's coming down over time as price action is going up. So we can see another bearish divergence on the four hour time frame. And then when we look at the one hour chart, we can see money flow is actually coming out over time. So as money flow comes out of the price of Bitcoin, you can expect a short term pull back to the downside. That being said, momentum on the one hour time frame is already potentially starting to bottom out, which could then lead to price consolidating here and then moving back up. So if I was purely a technical trader and I was trading based on lower time frames and looking at the bearish divergence that we're seeing on the four hour time frame, the daily time frame, as price action comes up to an extreme of fair value, which is value area high, it makes sense to potentially open up a bit of a short position here. But when we consider that new long-term investors are coming into Bitcoin, which is what we can see 
by looking at the money flow on the three day time frame. See how that money flow there, the inner wave is starting to come into the positive, just like what happened back here. And we all know what happened to the price of Bitcoin back here. This was a two time frame market as momentum was coming down over time. Price action just continued to grind up higher. Momentum is almost like looking at those short term traders and money flow is like looking at the long term buyers. So all of the short term traders, they were trying to short, they're trying to short, they're trying to short. And all of these short sellers here just kept getting wrecked as the price of Bitcoin squeezed up higher and higher and higher to a new all time high price, which is why when we're in a two time frame market it's very important to not just look at the technical analysis on the lower time frames but also look at the money flow on the higher time frames which is what that three-day money flow is showing us another reason why we're potentially seeing new money flow coming into bitcoin new long-term buyers are coming into bitcoin is because when we look at some of the newbie retail indicators like the macd and the rsi they're actually putting in buy signals right now indicators like this are what all the noobs use they are lagging indicators they don't give you advance warning of a move coming and this is often what exit liquidity believe it or not is using and i'm saying that from past experience we all start somewhere i also started off trading using these shitty indicators right here so if you're a new trader your chart probably looks a little something like this you've got your macd over here and you've got your rsi over here so if i was purely trading based on these two indicators right here well look at this we can see the macd has just crossed up into the green as the rsi bands are overlapping so we can expect the rsis to move back up as momentum comes in so if you were a stock market trader you're probably thinking there's going to be some sort of breakout so you may draw a channel that looks a little something like this and then you're pulling this breakout line up to here so now you can see how people may be targeting the price point of a hundred thousand dollars as the next stop for bitcoin which is why when we see stuff like this circulating on twitter is usually a sign that new money flow is about to come into crypto i'm also seeing that several of the stock market youtube channels that i follow they're now all of a sudden talking about bitcoin which is going to bring new eyeballs to the cryptocurrency asset class so we're seeing fresh money flow coming in at this higher price point as some of the lagging indicators are starting to put in a buy signal right now of course if you guys are considering consistently watching the trading trip youtube channel you would have seen that i was calling for buys on bitcoin all the way down here at all of these better levels and then you could have just traded a nice rotational trade back up to this extreme of fair value and now what you're actually doing is just taking some profits out of your position and then leaving some of the position to run to a new all-time high price as that offers a better risk adjusted return instead of trying to buy at the top of fair value hoping for a breakout to a hundred thousand dollars you know when i was first learning how to trade i got wrecked a lot of times trying to trade trade these sort of breakout patterns which you see a lot of stock market traders talking about and it's one of the reasons why I make these trading drip channel videos because I want to help the younger version of me not get wrecked trading all of these breakouts based on lagging indicators and I want to teach you guys how to trade based on real-time market generated data for example what we can see in the real-time market generated data is the high that was put in over the weekend that was not a good high because we haven't seen that aggressive short positions were trapped up at this level here so what i think we're seeing is just a bear trap being set here and then price will actually just move back up higher as aggressive buyers come back in this week okay so if we summarize the video as price point has come up to an extreme of fair value as we're seeing momentum analysis is starting to come down on the daily time frame and on the four hour time frame we're seeing that at this price point lower time frame traders are willing to short bitcoin however we can see based on the higher time frames that new fresh money flow is coming into bitcoin which is creating a two time frame market environment which is when we can see very aggressive short squeezes and we know just around the price point of seventy thousand dollars there's going to be 16 billion in liquidations and then between 72 to seventy three thousand dollars there's going to be another 16 billion in short liquidation so we could see a very aggressive short squeeze to the upside so in this video we've analyzed the chart bitcoin from the bulls perspective perspective and from the bears perspective and overall we've decided that shorting at this level is a little bit risky because there can be very violent short squeezes the upside so if you are shorting bitcoin right now just make sure you're using very strict risk management and maybe position size a little bit less than what you'd normally position size just in case there are very violent short squeezes as we are in the fourth quarter of the year which is historically the best quarter of the year to see the price of bitcoin appreciate if you like this sort of analysis then subscribe to the trading drip youtube channel and i'll keep you updated